Let's look at how we can find scores below a certain percentile. Here we have a set of data on 100 employees who work for a lumber company, and we have uh, their worker ID, the number of hours that they work, what educational level they have, and a few other columns here. And suppose we want to find the workers we that work the least number of hours because we know that we have some extra work coming up to them and we want to give them the first opportunity to have the uh, the extra work to work the overtime or if they're not full time to to have extra hours uh, to bring them up higher so suppose we want to find the the five percent of people that are below uh, the the lowest five percent of people the low, who have the lowest number of working hours what we're do looking at is that are people who are below the fifth percentile so how do we identify people that are in a certain percentile or below a certain percentile one way of doing it is to choose the column of data that we're interested in. So I will choose, we're, we're looking at the hours that they usually work. So I'll choose all of column C. I'll click on the column header until the whole column lights up. And then I will, we can go to uh, home and, uh, oops. I turned home off. Okay, turn home back on uh, the, the ribbon. And we're gonna go to conditional formatting. I'll choose conditional formatting. And I want to choose um, the top and bottom rules. Now, we want the bottom 5%, the people that have five, the lowest 5%. So we're gonna, that's called the, the bottom 10%. That should say bottom X percent because we can choose whatever bottom percent we want. So I click on bottom 10% and it says uh, um, the I want the bottom and it says 10%. I'm going to change that to 5. 5% and the format is going to make those uh, in this format. So I click OK and we see that employee 2 is in the bottom 5%. Employee 20 is in the bottom 5%, 58, 60, 74, and 84. Oh, and number 99. Those are the ones that are in the bottom 5%. Now, you might say that seems like more than five people. If there's 100 employees, there should be uh, uh, just five who are in the bottom 5%. Well, it turns out some are tied at 35 hours. In fact, we can look at this if we sort by hours. Let's sort by hours. Uh, I'm clicking the sort button, go by ascending, and we, well actually let's go for descending since we're looking for the bottom 5%. I go down here, so we see the, the people that are working the most were 70 hours and more. The people that are working the least are down here. We've got one guy that worked zero hours. It looks like he's been out on sick leave. And then a number of people that work 35. And so we can offer the extra hours to these people. Now at Azusa Pacific, uh, we uh, emphasize uh, trying to link our Christian values to what we're doing. And so this is kind of like a good example of, of, of what we could do uh, if we were a manager, if we were assigning hours. Um, go out of our way and figure out who has the greatest need, who might benefit the most from what we're doing. The Bible clearly teaches that Christians should do as much good as they possibly can and respond to the greatest number of needs. So in this case, these might be the people that have the greatest number of needs and we can do what we can to assign them more hours.